Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good. We have started a new topic that is ways to behave. In that we have learned some good manners. We have to greet when we meet to other people. In today's period we are going to learn some others good manners. So in that number one, respect elders. Elders means those who are older than you. Like your parents, your grandparents, your elder brother or sister. So always you have to respect them. You will see all the time our grandparents or our parents give some instructions that how to behave. So that all you have to follow. Means you have to listen to them. Why all the time they are giving us instructions? Because they worry about us. So whenever they are giving some instructions to us, we have to follow them. And also you have to listen to them. Now the next is be punctual. Punctual means what? Whatever work is given to us that we have to complete in a given time. Do not delay your work. Now the next is be neat and clean. Always keep your surrounding clean. Do not throw waste in your classroom as well as in your home. Use a dustbin for the waste. Now the next is be kind and help. Help anyone in need. If your friends require something or if they do not have anything and if they ask you for the thing, you have to help them. Like sometimes in a classroom you will see someone does not have pencil or eraser. If they ask you for pencil or eraser, if you have extra pencil or eraser, so better you will share with them. One more thing, do not tease animals, be kind to animals. Is it good to hurt animals? No, it is not good. So you have to be kind to animals. Now the next is be truthful. Always speak the truth, never lie. Are you lying to your parents or your teachers? So never lie to anyone. And now the next is be happy and cheerful. Keep smiling all the time. Everyone loves to be with a happy and cheerful child. Nobody likes to be with a ill-mannered and sad child. So what we have learned today? We have learned some good manners that is respect your elders, be punctual, do your work on a time, do not delay your work. Be neat and clean. Clean your surrounding and use a dustbin for the waste. Be kind and helpful. Do not tease or hurt animals. Be truthful. Always speak a truth, never lie. The last, be happy and cheerful. Hope you all have understood what we have learned. To and you have to follow these all good manners. Okay. Now I'll give you new words that new words you have to copy in your notebook. Also decide them and find out from the textbook and underline it. Okay. So number one, respect. R E S P E C T. Respect. Number two, elder. E L D E R Elder Number 3 Punctual P U N C T U A L Punctual Number 4 Delay D E L A Y Delay Number 5 West W A S T E West Number six Dustbin D U S T B 
B R N the spin. Number seven teens. T E A S E teens. Number eight truth. T R U T H truth. Number nine lie. L R E lie. Number ten cheerful. C H double E R F U L cheerful. Okay. Now see on page number thirty one blue color box is given here. In that box we have to write three ways that you will keep mothers happy. Now time to answer. Write good for good manners and bad for bad manners. Number one, snatching things from others. Is it good manner or bad manner? Correct. It is bad manner. Number two, helping people in need. Correct. It is good manner. Number three, being rude to people. Correct. It is bad manner. Number four, keeping surrounding clean and neat. Is it good or bad manner? Correct. It is good manner. Okay. So here we have completed this lesson. You have to read the lesson properly.